It's already become somewhat of a Christmas uh, tradition on this YouTube channel to put a cross section of, of fir leaves, the leaves of a fir tree under the microscope. Hi, hello and welcome, microbe hunter here. And uh, when we look at the cross section under the microscope, then we're able to see how a leaf, uh, like the ones that you see over here, how they're optimized to do photosynthesis. And specifically later on in the video, I would like uh, to show you the places uh, how gases are able to enter and leave uh, the fir leaf. I've got to be careful of my English here. Um, and uh, essentially, this is um, a short explanation of how plants are able to breathe. I tried to make the cross sections this time without a microtome, but rather by making uh, so-called uh, very thin cuts using a razor blade. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, some of the specimens were quite successful. They were thin enough. Uh, you'd simply have to try out. Uh, and uh, also a little bit of luck uh, plays a role here. And we're able to see already that uh, the color um, of of, uh, the cross section is not the same um, everywhere. The central part, for example, is responsible for transporting water um, and uh, it's not green because the green parts, these are the parts that actually do photosynthesis. And we can also see that the top surface, we're now looking at the top surface of the leaf is significantly greener than the bottom surface. Um, yeah, so essentially the uh, top surface is now characterized also by those uh, longitudinal cells that are stacked like columns. This is referred to as the so-called as the palisade layer or the palisade mesoderm Fill and uh, is very green because uh, it's pointing upwards towards the sunlight and therefore it's very efficient in catching the sunlight. Yeah, I was also able to find um, a small part uh, in the cross section which was sufficiently thin that I was able act actually to look into the cells. And, and these cells here um, also have those green dots in them and these are also chloroplasts. Um, yeah, in some other parts, like over here, um, the chloroplasts are so dense and the cells are so packed so densely that it's very difficult to see the individual cells. Um, and we can also see here that this is now the top surface. And if you look very carefully, the outermost surface on the top is actually white. Um, so it's actually um, allows light to go through. It's uh, almost transparent because uh, the outermost surface of uh, the leaf is responsible for pre preventing loss of water. It's referred to as the epidermis. And these cells, they secrete um, a layer of wax. So, so it's referred to as the waxy cuticle. And this uh, waxy layer um, on the outside of uh, the leaf uh, prevents uh, the loss of water. Here again, we see a couple of cells here and the green chloroplasts uh, inside them. Yeah, and uh, this is a little bit of a luck here that I was able to cut it so thinly that we're able to see the individual cells. Now, I tried a different preparation technique as well. I tried to scratch away the top layers um, of the leaf, um, and I simply wanted to leave the lower epidermis. And this is how it looks like here. And those dark dots that you see, but these are actually the interesting parts now. These are so-called stomates. These are little openings in the bottom side of the leaf, and this is how the plant breathes if breathing actually is the correct uh, term to use here, because those little openings, they allow the gases to go in and out of a leaf. Well, which gases? Um, carbon dioxide gas is able to enter the leaf from the air. And uh, by photosynthesis, uh, the leaf also produces oxygen gas, which is able to exit through those little open openings on the bottom side. Um, Unfortunately, um, not, it's not only oxygen that is able to exit, but also water vapor. So those uh, stomates are actually also one of the ways how a leaf is able to lose quite a bit of water. And for this reason, uh, they are able to open and close. Um, so when they close, then um, of course, uh, water vapor cannot be lost. Um, and this uh, preserves um, the leaf uh, better and makes sure that uh, the plant is also able to withstand lower periods of dryness. Usually they close uh, during nighttime when there is no sunlight present anyway, and they're not able to do photosynthesis. And here we can again see some of those oval openings. There are two cells called guard cells to the left and to the right of the stomate, to the opening. Um, and those guard cells are able to open and close the central um, hole here. And this allows essentially the control um, yeah, of gas exchange. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that you liked the video. And um, again, I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. And see you around next time. Bye-bye.